So let's go over and let's uh, let's go to the Dueling Peak Shrines. And we are going to go to the Stolen Heirloom. And uh, let's see. Let's see. So this one is actually, you got to complete a bunch of other different uh, side quests in here to activate this. And once you do, you can go to one of the guards outside of Impa's house in Kakariko Village. They will discuss how a thief stole something from Peya, who is, uh, of course, the adorable uh, Sheikah girl that has a crush on Link. And uh, you need to get it back. So, um, yeah, th this is one of them where you need to uh, kind of follow the guard who leaves his post. And, and you, you're you probably better off putting on your stealth armor and just kind of sneakily following him. He'll lead you to the Great Fairy. Um, you know, eventually uh, the Yiga Blade Master will reveal himself and... Uh, you, you, get, you get your fight on. And then and then this guy, uh, what's his name, Al? Dorian? Dorian. Dorian. He will confess his crimes. He'll confess that he stole the orb. He was being blackmailed by the Yiga clan. His wife was killed to punish him for leaving the clan in the first place. And his child is wandering cat creep. This is like, this is high stakes. This, this is, is drama. Dark. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking murder. We're talking betrayal. We're talking blackmail. My God, I, I I might be inclined to give this one a high grade just because of all all the drama here. What yeah, do you, what and do the you fact, think? uh, the fact that you have to do quite a bit to, in order to activate this one, I kind of like that because it's like, it's like you're kind of into getting to know the 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 Kakariko village, the people there, and then uh, also these guards a little bit because you do a lot of side quests for them too. Yeah. Um, and then, and then all of a sudden something's been stolen. So it's not like just you wander in there like, oh my God, something's been stolen. And you actually see Paya with the orb in, in like cutscenes or not cutscenes, but like previous interactions with her as well. So I kind of like that there's a build up to it. Yeah. And that, yeah, there's like some drama going on with poor Dorian because he's just trying to do the right thing. And he had a, you know, a, a not the greatest past. So yeah, I kind of like that. I would, I would say this is a uh, an A, would, maybe would you a high go a? B I or could go, a. I could go A. I could be convinced of that because I yeah. actually I think you're right. You said something that I agree with. Is like you see that orb in Impa's house for like th this is probably like a, a ladder. Until half. you get those side quests done. Yeah, yeah, this is like a ladder game shrine quest. I think, um, or at least like a midpoint game. So you you see the orb like for a decent amount of time before you're just like. What do I need to do to get that orb? Like, what am I finally going to get it? Like, I yeah. remember I tried to, like, see if I could steal it from the house or whatever. Because I, I had found the little pedestal. And I was like, I, I'm pretty sure this needs to go here eventually. So I was, like, trying to see if I could sneak and get it. <laughs> Obviously, it did not succeed. Um, so, yeah, I, I like the uh, I like the stakes. I like the story. I like the build up to it. It's, uh, it's nice. And it gives, like, an NPC kind of a, I don't know, a little bit of a character fleshing out this is one of those side quests where it's like um a little bit more involved and it's not just one of those yeah. like, collect-a-thon side quests exactly or just a side quest where you kind of like they're like oh you just do this special thing and it and the yeah. shrine comes up and there's a lot of those so yeah i like that this one's like more involved takes a while to get there and it's like a lot more fleshed out and building up to something versus just do this thing and get the shrine I kind of think it's cool too that like you can you can look into um, I don't know the the inner workings of the Yiga clan a little bit and see like because like they're they're kind of portrayed as just like generic evil guys right and like this is this is one of the few times where it's like this guy defected there's like actual people inside of here that like aren't just like mindless soldiers or anything like that so I yeah I I kind of yeah. I kind of dig it I I think that this is uh, this is a good quest so we're we're given our first A of uh of the show here oh boy here we go dueling peak shrines watch <laughs> out for the flowers we all know this we all know this one don't we uh, <laughs> yeah flower blight ganon as she is affectionately <laughs> called yeah <laughs> so we all know what we need to do here we need to carry the orb we uh we cannot step on the flowers or flower blight will uh just demolish you um what do you think? I think it's funny, like it's comical and 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 it's cute, but it's also not very involved. Like you, no. all you have to do is kind of follow the little flower maze. There's one frustrating part, part right in front of the shrine. I'm sure a lot of people know what I'm talking about, where it looks like a clear path, but there's this tiny little flower, tiny, and you step on it, and she loses her absolute marbles. 
I think it's funny, like, and it's involved that way, but it's also just not that big a deal. You could you could do it really quickly and really easy. In fact, yeah. you could fly to it from, like, one of the cliff sides and be totally fine and avoid it altogether. But I think it's funny. So for that, I would give it, like, I don't want to rank it too low, but I also don't want to rank it too high. So I guess I'd give it a C. I, I would give it a C as well. And I would put it after the Spring of Power. If, okay. Uh, if I'm being honest. So... Yeah, like, I, I think that without the meme, this one wouldn't be, like, this one wouldn't be much, right? Like, yeah. I, I think that the the meme that came up after the fact kind of gives this one a little bit of life, gives this one a little bit of longevity. Like, yeah, it is funny, but it's it's just kind of, I don't know. It's very simple. It's very short. It's very basic. So I, I think I think C, I think C is appropriate. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Um, okay. Let's do a quick recap here. So we got the Stolen Heirloom with an A grade. We got Into the Labyrinth with B. And we got a couple Cs here. The Spring of Power, Watch Out for the Flowers, Into the Vortex, um, all with the letter grade C. And in last place, the Skull's Eye with a D. So let's move on to the Elden region. And let's to let's go let's go to a Brother's Roast. And uh, I, I don't remember this one, actually. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Um... So you need to speak to Bladon in in Goron City. And uh, what you need to do is you need to find Gongoron, his brother who went missing, looking for the secret of the hero. So you need to go and you need to go and find uh, and find poor Gongoron. And uh, he is, let's see, he is somewhere in the Elden region. And uh, you go to Gorko Tunnel and you break down the walls and... Then you then you rescue him and then Bladon will appear and ask for uh, ask for you to retrieve a rock roast. So you can get a rock roast and uh, once you get it, you can bring it back to him and he chows down and I guess that's the shrine quest. I, I I'm sorry, Al. I don't really remember this one at all. Yeah, like you you meet you meet the older brother in town. He's like, my brother's missing. You find him like basically kind of just wiped out in a cave. And his brother shows up and is like, yeah, go get the roast from down the, you know, the cliff. And you bring the roast back up and you're, like, hailed by a bunch of enemies trying to get that roast up there. Yeah. And as soon as you drop it, it rolls back down. It's very frustrating. <laughs> but, like, in a good way. I, I actually think this is a pretty good involved um, shrine quest. Because you do actually do a bit more. There is a little bit of a story to it with the brothers and um, how you get them the roast to, to help pave the way to the shrine so i kind of like it i kind of i think it's sweet i think it's a b probably um you know what oh, okay I'll, I'll i won't argue with you i i just like i don't know what it is this is just not it's not ringing a bell and i've i'm sure i've done this like a bunch of times because i've beaten breath of the wild a bunch of times with you know mm -hmm. the, with the hundo for at least in terms of uh shrines and stuff like that so I yeah I guess we could give it a B. There there's something I have to be honest with you. There's something about the Elden. I think Elden region is probably my least favorite in Breath of the Wild. So it, just because of like the terrain and like the I don't know the the boring rocks and stuff like that, it's not my favorite. So a lot of them kind of like meld together for me. Yeah, and that I, makes sense. I and I'm sorry like it a if lot. that's your favorite. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I like it. There's a lot of rare ore deposits and um, a lot of, like, fire taluses. So I, I really That's enjoy true. breaking rocks yeah. in this region. So I enjoy it. I just don't like the fire armor. I think it's really ugly, so uh, yeah, I'm, like, annoyed that I have to wear it all the time, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't like it, because you look like a stupid tin man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I wish there was, like, a, like a cool-looking a cool looking mm -hmm. piece of armor that you could put on. Like, like, yeah embolden you in flames or something i don't know yep but uh... hey everyone if you enjoyed this clip and want to see more of the zelda cast make sure to head over to your favorite podcast platform of choice and subscribe there are over 200 episodes in the vault that will provide you with hundreds of hours of zelda content for you to enjoy you can listen to us when you're on a walk fighting ganon trying to sleep Whatever, and if you want to see these shows as they happen, make sure to head over to twitch.tv forward slash the ZeldaCast where you can watch our beautiful faces talk about Zelda every single week. Don't miss out, and we'll see you next time.